Today I'm going to show you how to input a lesson or a test into the CPS database. Um, first you need to open up your CPS database software. If it's not on your desktop screen, then you can go to the finder at the top and select new finder window and then go to applications and find CPS on your screen and click on that and that'll open up um, this screen and then you'll select this icon to open up your CPS database. Mine's already up on my screen so I'm just going to X out of that. Then once you get to this screen you're going to click CPS database and then for under tools you're going to click the drop down menu and create a new lesson. It's going to bring up this box that's going to ask you for a title. Uh, it can be the name of your test or whatever lesson you're doing. I'm just going to put test in. Once that pops up, make sure it's highlighted so you don't want the highlighting to be on exam view or presentations. Make sure whatever test or lesson that you just put in is highlighted and then click new question, the question mark with the little plus sign. This screen will come up and now you can input your questions and your four up to four answers. Or you can just um, project your test or your lesson onto the screen with your document camera. Either one is fine. I prefer to use the document camera because then I don't have to type in every single question into the database. All you have to do is select your, your um, correct answer. But for these purposes, I'm going to go ahead and put in a question. So your question will go at the top. Um, what is 4 plus 4? Okay, and then you would put up to four options. So my options are 1, 2, 8, and 10. And then obviously the correct answer is C, so I'd click C, and then I would select Save. And then after this, it's saved, and you can go on to your next question. So I click the little question mark with the plus sign again, and now I'm on question 2. And now you can enter your next question and your correct answers. Uh, what fruit is orange? Um, actually, let's put which. Which fruit are orange? Okay. Apples, bananas, or oranges. Okay, and then you collect the correct answer again and press save. Now if you want to go back and make changes, uh, you can. You can go back and look at question number one. Here it is. Or you can go and look at question number two. And you just keep on doing that same thing until you get um, how many ever questions are on your test or on your lesson. When you're done, you can simply press the X at the top of the page and it'll bring you back to your screen. Now you need to make sure that the correct number of questions is listed right here by your test or your lesson. Um, on the next video, I'm going to show you how to get the test started or the lesson started and how to get the assign the clickers to the students. That'll be on a separate video. Um, it should be under the same folder. And I'm going to show you how to do student managed and a teacher managed test. Teacher managed is better for lower grades because the teacher leads the students through the test. Student managed is for older grades because um, the students have to keep track of what question number they're on. I hope this helped and if you need other videos, please go to wherever you find this one and there should be more options for you. Thank you.